This is Matt Dom with the Richland Road Church of Christ Good News to Live By for Monday, May 11th. Make sure you join us tonight as Russell begins a Bible study on the parables that will take place on Zoom at 7 p.m. It happens on Monday, Tuesday, Thursday, and Friday. Later today, we'll be posting on the church Facebook page uh, how you can uh, join that uh, group. Parents, make sure you watch the uh, weekly uh, video lesson uh, for Bible Discovery, and uh, that's also on the Facebook page. And then Wednesday night, join us for our Heroes of the Bible study uh, on Facebook Live at 7 p.m. We want you to keep praying uh, for uh, members and people that we love. We want you to... Uh, be praying for Patty Toothman, who's at Riverside Hospital, Don Griffith, who's at Grant Hospital, uh, former member here, Debbie Young McMorris, who is in intensive care in Houston, Texas, following a major surgery. I want you to be uh, praying for Craig Willis, who uh, remains at Community Care and Rehab here in Marion, Erica Rich, uh, David Brees. Also, Scott Jackson will have surgery this Wednesday, and then Kathy Keitlinger will have surgery on May 18th. What counts is not the number of hours you put in, but how much you put in those hours. In 1930, Pat O'Brien had a scene in a play, The Up and Up, in which he had to contend with two angry people at once, a person on the phone and one standing at his desk. To him, playing that scene was like fighting through the Notre Dame football line while singing Danny Boy. The play received mixed reviews, and its outlook seemed dim. O'Brien thought, why knock myself out on something with no future? But then Ecclesiastes 9.10 echoed in his memory, and that verse says, Whatever task lies to your hand, do it with all your might. And so at every performance, he put his all into each scene, sometimes coming off stage soaking wet. After the show closed, O'Brien went on to a few obscure parts. Then one day he received a phone call from a man who said, Mr. Hughes is filming the play The Front Page and wants you in it. O'Brien jumped at that opportunity. The film's director, Lewis Millstone, later told him why he was chosen. Millstone had gone to New York with friends, planning to see a hit show, but there were, they were one seat short. So Lewis went to see the play, The Up and Up, and he said, One scene really impressed me, the scene at the desk. O'Brien's outstanding film career was launched by his giving his all, for a part that he seemed as worthless. Paul reminds us in Colossians 3 and verse 23, Whatever you do, work at it with all your heart as working for the Lord. This has been Matt Dom with the Richland Road. Good news to live by. Have a great day.